gosh. What would I say? You've got a great responsibility. Maybe you should have stepped in sooner than you did, but you're just trying to allow the local mayor and the state government to do their part. And obviously it seems like they didn't. Uh, so if you could send any help down this way, I know they would appreciate it. And it will be a blessing to those that will be helped. It wasn't right, you know. Three days after the hurricane, it wasn't right. Before they even made a response, three days later, it wasn't right, dude. That he can kiss my ass. I really think he's an idiot and I wouldn't waste my time. I wouldn't waste my energy trying to explain to him, you know, anything, you know, as far as people's opinion, because he don't, he don't care. He don't care. And it's not just over the Katrina thing, you know. It's a lot of things that he's done. He, he sold America. He just don't care. And I'm, I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't even want to meet the president. I, I say to him to help the city, the, the re rebuilding, and um, maybe in the, the next time do, uh, do the, the things better, if, if possible, try to, to help uh, everyone, not um, yeah, without any any discrimination. Bush, you really messed up with this one. And if I see, oh, well, I can't. I ain't gonna say a few things to you because you, you gonna have me bug. You can do whatever you want to me. But at the same time, I know, like Kanye said, you don't care about black people, and I know you just trying to keep money in your pocket with that war, man. So, uh, and you send my people over there too. When you gonna send your kids over there to do that, man? Everybody playing their part, but where you at? You ain't doing nothing but stand back, writing them checks, dog. But your day gonna come. Every dog has a day. Just remember that, homie. I would tell him, what would you have done? What would you have expected if you were an ordinary person? Would you be hoping that the president would send aid and assist all the families? Would your family be looking on the other side of the camera, crying in tears, wondering where you were and wanting to help you? I know some people were just taking things, material things that they couldn't even use. But there was other people like me and my family who needed water, food, sweater, dry clothes. But no, if we would have broken into something, if we would have took more than we needed, we would be punished. Would you want to survive and live to tell about it? That's what I'd tell him. I just wanted to, him to know that those memories will always be in my mind. They've always changed my life. President Bush, you have none of my respect and you never have and you never will because you didn't do anything that you were supposed to do when you were supposed to do it. And I wish that people would have been more um, smart about who they chose to run this country when they did. I just think after two years, Things shouldn't be the way they are right now. It just, it seems like it happened a couple of weeks ago. But, you know, it happened two years ago. But I, I just don't think that things should be the way they are down there right now. I would, I would imagine that they would get more help, you know, from the government and from other, you know, helping states. I think the Hurricane Katrina situation was a lesson. And I think that people should look at it like it. Look at it in that sense, because there's nothing you can do about the past. There's no point of dwelling on it. There's no point of saying, oh, we should have did this. We should have. We could have done a lot of things, but we didn't. So I think the government and people in general should take the situation as a lesson, look at it critically, and see what they could do better if it ever happens again. I believe that Katrina, I don't know, it kind of opened my eyes to be like, wow, you got to kind of appreciate what you get. And After... Experiencing Hurricane Katrina and seeing everything that I saw, going through what I went through, my final thoughts are just that people don't really have a good communication or connection and aren't willing to help each other. And, you know, I just feel like there's just a big disconnect and people need to be more united. That's what we call ourselves, the United States. And, like, I just feel that people shouldn't be discriminate against, like, you know, against like someone's color or background or economic status. I just think that everything throughout this relief effort could have been handled a lot better. Um, different organizations, I know like some did a good job, but 
for the most part, like big corporate organizations like Red Cross and FEMA haven't really done their job. I think they still have a long way to go before they can even try to come close to, you know, giving back to the community of New Orleans and all those who are affected by Hurricane Katrina. Overall feeling is you can't prevent uh, Mother Nature from doing things, but the government should have stepped in and did more to help people get back home and repair their homes.